Hey guys, welcome back to our next video in the PySpark tutorial series over at Data with Dominic. So in today's um, video, we're going to be looking at the filter condition, our filter function, I should say, in PySpark, which basically allows the us to filter the data that we have in our data frames. It's very similar to the where function that we had seen in the last video. So if you'd seen that, this should be a breeze for you. But let's go through this filter function. All right, so just to give you a heads up on what I've done, and even before that as well, just some housekeeping notes. I've got all this code that I'll be using in the demo in the Git, in a GitHub repository linked in the description of the video. And I'm using Databricks Community Edition to access PySpark for free. If you want to know how to do that, I have a video of mine linked in the top right corner of the screen. Okay, so now that we have that out of the way, let's dive into the demo and what I've done here. Right, so I'm basically uh, reading a data frame from a CSV file, which I have in a, in the Databricks file store. And I've got, I'm going to display that just to show you guys what it looks like. We have six columns, basically an ID, a first name, a last name, an email, a gender, and an IP address. And I've just printed out the schema for this data frame. And you can see that the ID column, which is the first column, which has only numbers, is being read as a string for some reason. So I want to convert that so I can use the df.width column function to change the data type to integer. I have a video on how to do this. I link to that in the top right corner of the screen. And then printing the schema after the conversion. So as you can see, IDs become an integer. So now we're ready to begin working and just to confirm that none of the data has changed. I'm displaying the final data frame that we're going to be working with. All right. So to use the filter function, it's very similar to the where function. We just do a df dot filter and then in parenthesis, specify the column the operator and the condition, right? So in this, just like the last video, suppose that uh, I want to return all people who are female in this data frame, right? So I just do a df dot gender, which is the data frame name, variable name, dot column name to access that column. And then we do the equality operator, and then we can specify our condition female. So when we run this, we can see that it's exit executed and worked but we've not specified to display it or we've not even written it to another data frame so just for convenience sakes i'm going to wrap this in a display uh, function just so that we can get the output here and it's not creating new data frames unnecessarily so here you can see that we're returning all females in our data frame all right so another condition suppose we wanted to find people whose IDs were greater than 20. What we can do is a df.id greater than 20. And because it's an integer, I don't have to write, uh, wrap it in double quotes or single quotes. And that's why I wanted to convert it earlier to show you guys uh, this functionality. So yeah, as you can see, we started off above 20. Since our condition is greater than 20, then not greater than or equal to. All right, so we've got the basics out of the way. Now we can look at how to use the filter function and write compound uh, filtering statements based on multiple conditions and logical operators. So the logical operators you would think we'd be using is AND, OR, and NOT, but in PySpark specifically, we have to use the ampersand uh, sign, the pipe uh, sign, and the tilde for the AND, OR, and NOT respectively. So I'll take you through all of those. So let's just say we wanted to filter uh, people uh, filter the data frame on two conditions they have to be female and they have to have an ID greater than uh, 10 let's say so uh, an important thing to remember is that when you're using multiple conditions each condition has to be wrapped in its own bracket so how we do that how do we do that we add another bracket in this case and then we do a DF ID greater than 10 so that's the first condition we move out of its bracket specify the AND operator, in this case, the ampersand sign, and then open new brackets, and then we can do a df.gender equal to equal to female. So we get all people who are female and have an ID greater than 10. So as you can see, we've got IDs greater than 10, and all of them are female. So transitioning this to having IDs 
greater than 10 or they're female you just change the and symbol for a pipe operator and run it you can see that we've got basically pupil below 10 they can be male as well no, no sorry they can only be female but people above 10 they can be male as well since they can either have an id greater than 10 or they can be female so below 10 and equal to 10 everybody is, will have to be female and above 10 you can have females and males so all right let's dive into the next condition which is the not operator so for that you can, i'll just keep it simple for you guys to start off with so we had this uh, filter statement right where we were filtering people who are greater than 20 in the id column so how do we make it people who are not greater than 20 basically again we have to wrap this in its own brackets and then specify a tilde before the condition so now when we run it it's not people who have an id greater than 20 oh yeah sorry so uh, databricks has this weird thing where if it if i enter a bracket next to a bracket that's already existing it doesn't take it into account so this should work now yeah so everybody who's not got an id greater than 20 will be uh, sent out yeah so we've got people with an id up to 20 basically here yeah. and say we wanted to use the not in a compound uh, filtering statement we can sub so in this com command we had people who had an id greater than 10 and were female so if we just put a not in front of this female condition we will be having a we will be having a condition that reads uh, uh filter all people who are greater than id 10 and are not females so basically males so we should be seeing ids greater than 10 and all males or other or not females right okay so yeah we've got ids greater than 10 and no females in here all right so that's a little bit on the filter command or filter function as i keep mispronouncing in PySpark. thank you guys for watching don't forget to like subscribe share comment and hit the bell icon and we'll see you in the next video